was day two of the 81st annual Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo on Dolphin Island. After a long morning of heavy thunderstorms, the sun finally came out for the warm afternoon. Fox 10 News reporter Katie Wise has all the sights and sounds from today's festivities. Heavy thunderstorms rocked the Gulf Coast throughout the morning for the second day of what's hailed as the largest fishing tournament in the world. Officials told me all that rain forced many fishermen to weigh in their catch earlier than they were expecting. But they say that early rush of bringing back the fish wasn't necessarily a bad thing for the tournament. Uh, well, it really doesn't affect the tournament. Um, it's always nice to have the fish come in bunches. It excites the crowd, it excites the way station. And, uh, but as long as it's steady all day and the fishermen are having fun and they're bringing fish to the docks and the researchers are getting plenty of data, then, uh, then everybody's happy. However, other fishermen tell me that they decided to just wait to leave these docks until a little later in the day to try to wait until the sun would finally come out. We just left out later than we would have to avoid the storms. And the sun finally did shine on day two of the rodeo. By the afternoon, huge crowds were enjoying all the rodeo has to offer. Just to watch the weigh-in, see people from all walks of life, small boats, big boats, it doesn't matter. Everywhere. They come from out all over. And fishermen are hopeful that the third and final day tomorrow will be just as sunny as this afternoon. So they'll have one more chance at the big prizes. Us, the biggest rodeo in the world. I just want to win it one day, have my name up on the board. Reporting on Dolphin Island, Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News. Well, so far, only one record-breaking fish has been caught at this year's tournament. It was an 8.89 speckled trout, breaking 